House Republicans are putting the January 6th committee under scrutiny again. A GOP-controlled House committee has launched an investigation into the panel. A staff member said it will focus on analyzing how its inquiry was conducted. This new investigation will be led by Congressman Barry Loudermill. Remember him? He is the one that the January 6th committee said led a tour of the Capitol the day before the insurrection. The committee did uh, ask him to explain why he was giving a tour to somebody who showed up on the 5th of January, who showed up the next day uh, at the Capitol threatening the life of Speaker Pelosi. We didn't accuse Loudermilk of anything. We just wanted to explain how did this happen? And he refused to do that. Gen 6 Committee Vice Chair Liz Cheney also weighed in today saying this, quote, if the House GOP wants new January 6 hearings, bring it on. Let's replay every witness and all the evidence from last year. Reminder, almost every witness was Republican. This comes as the White House is calling out Tucker Carlson by name for portraying the Capitol attack as largely peaceful. Today, in a statement, a White House spokesperson said Tucker Carlson is not credible. And President Biden tweeted about Carlson, saying this, quote, more than 140 officers were injured on Jan 6th. I've said it before. How dare anyone diminish or deny the hell they went through? Meanwhile, there's new reporting that House Republicans Marjorie Taylor Greene and James Comer are working on a trip to visit jailed January 6th defendants. Politico says Greene and Comer expect to send out a letter this week inviting other lawmakers to join them on the trip.